right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install a plugin for the uh, SDR Sharp uh, software. So if you don't have it yet, you can download it here by going to the following and clicking on download for the latest version. As of right now, this is uh, 1784. But uh, I already have it downloaded, so we're going to go over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to install a simple DMR plugin and if you want this one you can just go to here and click the download so I already have these downloaded so we're just going to go ahead and extract these guys and I'm just going to use 7-zip so we'll go ahead and do this one So now what we could do is we're going to go down here and search for Notepad. Right click, run it as administrator. Now that may not be required, but we're going to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> and what we are going to do is go to File, Open, then go to your SDR folder, wherever you may have that at. I just made a separate folder and named it SDR. So we're going to go in here, then we'll go down here, click all files, and find the plugin file, click open. And as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, text here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go here. Well, before we do that, we'll, what we'll do is we'll open up SDR Sharp so we can show you here that it doesn't show the plugin. So once this comes up, we'll uh, show you that. All right, so now that it's up, we'll just make it bigger. We'll go up here, and as you can see, it doesn't show simple DMR. So we're just gonna go ahead and close that guy. So now what we're gonna do is go into our plugin folder, which is the DMR. We're going to open up the magic uh, line. Then we're just going to select this guy. Copy. <clears throat> we can close that. Then we're going to go back to our file that we have open here for the plugin. And we're just going to add this guy in here. So it should look something like that. Go to File, Save, Exit. We're done with that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, we need to copy these two DLL files. So we'll just highlight them, right click, copy. We'll back up, go into the SDR Sharp folder, right click, paste. Bam. So now that we have that, we can scroll down here and open up our SDR Sharp uh, software again. And once it opens up, <clears throat> so now that we have it open, we can go back up here, and there it is. So that's how simple it is to add a plugin on SDR Sharp. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.